In today's video, I created the worst condition Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and we just got them back from BGS. What's up, guys? We're back with another epic video where I don't know how epic this is going to be. It's going to be hilarious, maybe. Uh, I graded some absolutely disgustingly bad condition cards like nostalgic condition would be a compliment for these cards. But before we go more into that, we have a giveaway. I'm giving away these four cards who are from Eric, who sold us the every pack opening, which is coming up at 250,000 subscribers. So if you have not subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe because once we get to 250, we're going to be doing a week long epic celebration of openings. It will end with stuff like Magician's Force, full box opening, uh, searching for the Dark Magician Girl, plus the every pack opening ever made. So there's a lot of great stuff coming up. So the way you can get there quicker is by subscribing. And if you want to also support the channel, check out Ruxin34.com because I have a lot of amazing items available over there. Let's get to this. This is going to be hilarious. Inside this package are the grades of the cards that I sent off. We have pre-grades as well because I want you to see just how disgusting these cards are. Like they are in terrible condition. One of them particularly is hilarious. I'm really hoping they graded these and didn't do any like, uh, you know, authentic or not graded. I mean, that would be not as fun. I want to see what the grades are. So I am going to break this open and uh, we will go through the pre like pre grades one at a time as we go through each card. So you get to see what it looked like before and after. And now is the after. And I'm hoping that they get some absolutely amazing grades. Because last time we did this, we did this before. Go check it out. Uh, I got some grades that were a little bit like weird. They were like extremely high. Like they were like, like fours and I thought they were really bad. So we'll see what happens this time. All right. This one. I don't know if this one's technically this one. <laughs> Is this worse than the last one? I, I try to put them in order of the worst one. The last one is, I think, definitely the worst. But yeah, because this one's literally missing like the entire edge over here and like part of the, the this. Look, I question what edge, why the edges were better last time. This is why, because the edges are completely gone. This has to be the worst edge grade you can get. It doesn't even have half the edges. This has to be a one on edges. It has to be one on edges. Corners, same thing. Missing a corner, barely has a corner. Those are pretty bad. I'm going to go 1.5 on corners for that one surface it's not as bad i mean like outside of if you get inside the card the outside of the card's bad you know on the edges but when you get to the inside part it's really not that horrible it's it's like a mod play card maybe heavy play it's really not too bad so the surface i'm gonna go with like it doesn't have a crease there i'm gonna go with like a four on the surface on this one and then the centering you, <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell when there are no borders but i'll go off the top it's gonna be hard to tell i'm gonna go like a seven on the centering because you can't even see half of it so you just have to guess so yeah, that is a wild looking card. If they even grade that, it's going to be funny. OK, now that you saw whatever card this is. Oh, man, too much missing. No, no, it was authentic. <laughs> too much missing. Oh, no, this is so sad. I mean, yes, definitely. Too much is indeed missing. That That's definitely true. Too much missing. We didn't get edge serve. Oh, I was hoping they'd grade it. But yeah, it's literally missing like a bunch of the cards. So that's a little sad. I was. Oh. I was hoping that they would grade these and just give me like negative ones or whatever. It'd be really funny. So unfortunately, the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon was not technically graded, though it is in a slab, which is actually kind of hilarious. Now we have this just eaten card in a slab. So unfortunate, but that this is what will happen. So if you ever this is good info, if you ever try to grade a card that looks like this, they're going to say too much missing. <laughs> That's what they're going to say. Straight from Beckett themselves. Too much missing. That's the wise words of Beckett grading services. Okay, Raigeki, Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon. The best condition card ever. I mean, check this thing out. Missing an entire, like literally a dog bit this card. It has been shot multiple times. Like, like this thing took serious beating. It's been crunched up. Like this is, this is a cat or a dog got to this thing and it got its claws in it and it got its bite on it. Maybe it was a rat who knows what it was, but something went crazy on this card. Literally one of the worst looking cards. It doesn't even have the name anymore. It just says a geki, I geki, however you, however you want to say it. Igeki. That's it. Oh no. Oh no. Not again, too much missing. Oh, and I think I know which one this is. The Raigeki, no. Why is too much missing? A dog definitely got, oh, I was so excited to see what they give corners on this. Uh, okay, so this one was authenticized as well, which is actually still hilarious because it's missing a corner, like an entire, like almost a quarter of the card. It's insane. Uh, oh, no grades for the Raigeki. Too much missing, curse you, Beckett. Give me a grade. I want to see the grade. I wonder if the people grading this were like, what in the world is going on? And then secondly, I wonder if anyone's ever graded a card that has a big bite out of it. That might be the first one to ever do it. This could be like a pop one. 
which is pretty insane. Authentic, unfortunately, so oh, we don't get to see. It looks like the other ones did get graded, though, so we finally got some grades. All right, so we did maybe find the line between too bad and uh, gradable. We actually didn't find the line yet. We found what was too bad. We need to find like a one and then compare it to that and see what the difference is. I think the problem with these two right here is they're literally missing parts of the card. You have to have the entire card somewhat intact, I guess, for it to be graded. So yeah, so we figured that out today. My next card is another Dark Magician. This card also is in fantastic shape. And if I had to predict this one, I mean, this one is, these should be gradually getting better and better condition. Yeah, great, great shape. No, I'm, I, they're gonna all be bad, but they're getting worse. This one, I mean, yeah, edges are, look at that. It's like literally bent. I mean, the edges, I'm going to say, I'm going to say where I said five last time. So these got to be like 3.5 uh, centering. Let's do centering because that one's always the best one. That's probably like an 8.5. It's a little bit pushed down surface. I mean, with the crease that goes against surface, right? I'm going to say the creases. I mean, that's like a 1.5. That's really bad. I guess it could be worse. So I'll say two. It could be because like one is the worst, then 1.5, then two. I don't think you can get a 0.5. So I'll say two on the surface. And then corners are even worse than the last one. So I'm going to say 2.5 on those. So we'll see what this thing gets. I'm guessing <laughs> I'm guessing some great scores on these. We're probably going to be rich after we grade these. OK, next card. This one has been graded. OK, whatever this card is, has been graded. Uh, unfortunately, no, uh, no black label, it looks like. That's pretty disappointing. I was definitely expecting that. Let me use this. Uh, Jade and Yuki Duelist Pack card to cover this up like this. Okay, so we have Dark Magician. This is a completely worthless card from Star Deck Yugi Evolution. By the way, if you're watching this and you're wondering if your Dark Magician is valuable and it says SYE down there, it is not. Never valuable, even if it's in great condition. It would have to be a first edition PSA 10 to be really be worth anything. So maybe a PSA 9 could be like 30 bucks, something like that. So, and that would have to be graded for $15. So it's really, you're getting $15 out of it. So not much. Uh, this card was, yeah, pretty bad. This one was in re really bad shape. Shape. let's just see what it got uh we can go one i guess we can go two at a time so let's start over here and see what we got so we got some actual grades okay centering and edges i don't remember what i guessed but we'll find out how close i was we'll have it on the screen obviously i missed all the other ones because they actually i guessed grades and they didn't grade them so uh let's see centering and edges 8.5 and a 2.5 on the edges <laughs> yeah these edges are pretty bad look how ripply they are it's pretty disgusting yeah all the way around 8.5 and 2.5 okay but still 2.5 is like three grades away from one so it's honestly a lot better than it could be uh corners and surface let's see 0.5 on the corners you can get a 0.5 that does say 0.5 right i have never seen a 0.5 that is amazing surface is a one this might be as close as you get centering you could i mean it's, you'd have to find a really off centered card to get like lower than an 8.5 it's really hard uh so if you got like 1.5 wow a one so this is a one let's go because we got a 0.5 on the corners okay we have found the line the hey, we have found the line between gradable and not gradable at beckett we have a poor one right here which is i don't think you can get lower i don't think you can get a full 0.5 like somebody let me know in the comments is it possible to get a 0.5 as the actual grade not a subgrade i don't think it is i think one's the lowest so this is lower than the lowest because they didn't grade it and this is the lowest so we actually found the difference that is so exciting a 0.5 that is amazing corners literally got less than one let's take a second look at these i mean oh my goodness these are pathetically bad i don't remember how much i paid for this <laughs> oh yeah look at the back that's why they're completely gone yeah i, I paid like 30 or 40 dollars a piece to grade these something stupid like that so maybe it's maybe it's 20 i don't remember but it was way too much to get a poor one but i'm so excited about it poor one versus the regeki if you guys don't remember if you're a very long time viewer of the channel we once graded a first edition lob blue eyes in a fair 1.5 grade at psa you can get 0.5s at psa we got a 1.5 it was amazing i missed that card i sold it for like 300 dollars. so very sad i really i really wish i still had it because that was hilarious my third card also a dark magician just i was going through bulk and i found all these cards and they all happen to be dark magicians it makes sense because dark magician iconic card really popular people used it until they washed it and stuff like that this is the worst one yet i mean look at this thing I mean, it's literally it's literally split in half i'm not even sure they'll grade it i hope they do and i hope they i, I kind of hope they just leave it like this and they don't fix it the bending i mean let's try centering first centering is going to get an 8.5 or an 8 i'm gonna say 8 the sur the surface is the worst so we'll start we'll do corners corners aren't well sorry i was gonna say aren't actually as bad besides that one so that's pretty bad 
we got to go with that. That's going to make corners like a, a 2.5. <laughs> so that's, that seems generous. We'll go 2.5. Edges don't seem as bad. I mean, a lot of the damage is from other things. It's a little wavy. So I'm going to say like edges 3.5. And then finally, the surface. I mean, this thing is literally like the, there's no structural integrity of this thing. It is completely bendable. I mean, there's a little bit. I won't say no, but yeah, the surface has got to be. This has to be a 1.5. Like there is something that could be worse, but not by much. So I'm going to say 1.5 on the surface. Whatever the overall for that is, I don't know what the overalls are. So we'll see what they are when we get to them. All right, I'm excited about the one. Can we get worse than that? I would want to get three grades in like one or 0.5. That'd be really awesome. This one is really terrible as well. Whatever this is, let's find out. Okay, we have Dark Magician again. I think I graded like three Dark Magicians because they tend to be in the most like nostalgic condition because people like played with them all the time because, you know, classic Dark Magician, et cetera, et cetera. They didn't care how valuable it was. It was always in their deck, getting bent up, you know, putting pockets, washed, all that different stuff that happened as kids. Uh, so these tend to be in the worst condition of all Yu-Gi-Oh cards. So it makes sense. Let's see what this thing got. Uh, okay, Beckett, give us something. Come on, Beckett. I'm asking for something terrible. Come on, give us. Okay, Sinnering's not going to do that bad, but. A nine, Dad Gummit, and a four on the edges. Okay, that's way too good. We're going to get like a two and a half at least. Corners and surface. This is where it goes downhill for, well, downhill for them. Plot, well, I don't know why we go downhill for them. You know what? It just goes uphill. Let's just see what we get. One surface and 3.5 corners. Wow, 3.5 corners. So they're three better than the 0.5. <laughs> okay, yeah, I mean, they're not missing nearly as much. Like, they aren't, like, the other ones were so white. They were all the way down to, like, the middle of the card. It was really bad. So I guess for surface, like, having all these creases is what really, like, gives you, like, a one. Because I remember last time we would get, like, surface, like, threes and stuff. And I was like, these are really bad. But this thing's, like, bent it's like wavy it has no integrity left it's bent so like it has everything to it this got a good two so we have now literally all the grades so we go from ungraded to one to two there could be a 1.5 right here that's the only thing that we're missing so if this last card can be a 1.5 this may be the perfect submission our first card that we will be grading is a dark magician from starter deck yugi as you guys can see this card is in fantastic shape it has some really nice edges beautiful corners yeah, no creases at all. Nothing is bent. Yeah, the back looks great. Absolutely zero edge wear. The surface is super clean. So this thing, I mean, this thing is going to do well at BGS. I think that this is probably going to get, if I had to guess, I should have rewatched the last video. I remember that I always thought it was low. I was, I was predicting lower and ended up higher than I thought. The edges were always surprising. So I think because last time I'd probably give like edges like a three on this. I'm probably going to give edges like a five, even though that seems ridiculous to me. But I'm going to say edges five because they are terrible. I mean, I would put them lower if it was me, but I'm going to say edges five. I mean, that is that right there is bad enough. The corners are all damaged. I don't remember how they did corners. I mean, when they're all bent like this, they've got to be something super low. So I'm going to go like 2.5. How about that? 2.5 on edge or five edges, 2.5 corners. Surface is pretty disgusting on this one. You can barely it's like so like murky on the back. I mean, it's got to be something under a five, right? It's got to I mean, the front's not as bad, but I would say like a like a three point five on that one. And then centering is the one where it's actually centered. So this is probably going to get like a like a nine on centering or an eight point five. I'll go eight point five just because the card's disgusting and they might bump it down for that. So that's my prediction for this card. Let's see how it does when it comes back from BGS. All right. Last card. I think this also is an SDY Dark Magician, if I had to guess. But this one honestly might be in the best condition. I feel like I went in reverse order for. OK, I mean, those those corners are pretty bad, but uh, looks like there's not a crease, so this might actually get an okay surface grade. Yeah, okay, there are a little, there's some like semi creases that don't go all the way through. This one's probably going to be our best grade. Maybe it'll be a three. We'll see. We have a centering edges. 9.5 centering? I never get 9.5. Whenever I want good centering, I can't get, I got a 9.5 on centering. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Okay, edges 3.5. That's not as bad, not as good as the last one. We had a four on the last one. Let's see what the corners and surface. I bet the surface is much better here. Corners is probably still pretty bad, but not as bad. 1.5. Whoa, these corners are way worse. 1.5 versus 3.5. Surface is a 2.5. So what kind of swap spots there? Let's see. What? Oh, wow. Well, that is pretty bad, actually. <laughs> yeah, those corners are pretty bad. It's missing an entire corner. That one's really bad. Yeah, okay. So another two. So honestly, this was not the perfect submission. The perfect submission would have been some authentic, maybe an authentic in like four ones. But I mean, we did get a 0.5. I mean, this is 
legendary. We got a 0.5 on corners. You are looking at the worst corners can be right here. This is at the absolute worst. You cannot get worse. There's no corner there, no corner there. I mean, they're all rounded except here where they're like whitened. So like really, really bad. So you have seen officially the worst graded Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I mean, we blew our last video out of the water. Last time I was getting like three and a halfs and fours. This was a bad sub. That's what I'm talking about. So if you guys enjoyed this, you want to see maybe me try to get the perfect submission of like more 0.5s and stuff like that. Find even worse condition cards. Let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe because it's 250. Obviously, we're doing those big openings I mentioned earlier. And uh, we're going to have more awesome videos in the future. Check out the new series, Wield Goat. If you like goat format, if you like Master Duel, if you like all that different stuff, we've been posting a lot of videos. It's Fridays. As long as there's not a new set release, it will be on Friday. So go check that out. And uh, that was uh, that's pretty much it for this one. And let me go dig up a few more terrible condition cards for next time. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Ernesto Deanna, America Deutscher, KK Beats, Brandon Cheney, Ian Musa Jr. Barding, Robert F. Chang Lang, and Adelso Garcia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.